Hello, my name is Brian Vandergrift, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about some of the concepts involved in developing a data protection strategy for your organization. Some of the main concepts you're going to talk about is DR versus BC, and that's disaster recovery versus business continuity. And then some of the components of those types of plans are doing data backup versus doing replication or doing both. So let's talk a little bit about those. So to define disaster recovery, okay, what disaster recovery is, you have a disaster, okay, then you recover. So the disaster comes first, then you do all the work to recover the systems or the data that might have become unavailable, all right? Business continuity is a little different, okay? You're doing business, then some sort of a disaster happens, and then you continue doing business through the disaster. So there are little different concepts. So now let's talk a little bit about backup versus replication and how they apply to those two concepts for data protection. So backup, I like to call it more, more specifically point in time backup. Okay. So what that is is that you take at a point in time, at some scheduled point in time, you make a copy of your data. And that's the typical way that people approach backing up their data, where, you know, let's say 8 p.m. at night, everybody's going home to have dinner, people are getting out of their systems, not a lot of email flowing back and forth. At that point in time, a copy of the data will be made. So let's say that's 8 p.m., right? So on a typical week, you're taking a backup at 8 p.m., 8 p.m., 8 p.m., whatever the case may be, okay? So let's say that on Wednesday you catch a virus, and on Friday, that virus results in corruption of the data. Well, to get back to where you have access to your data again, your disaster recovery plan for that will be for you to go to recover data from Wednesday before the virus was caught. Okay, so that's a point in time backup strategy. Okay, uh, to compare that, let's talk about replication. And I'm just gonna abbreviate here, replication. What happens in replication you got server one in one location, and then let's say on the other end of an internet connection, you have another location with server number two. Well, as data's changed here, real time that is replicated or copied over to server two. All right? So in the same scenario, if we caught a virus Wednesday night after we backed up, and it results in corruption over here on Friday, well, guess what? It's corrupted in both places because the good data was replicated until it was not good anymore. And then once the data became corrupted, it was corrupted at the other end. Okay? So you can see that sometimes replication by itself, even though it's real time, is not necessarily a good thing. Right? So although replication can help you have business continuance through a disaster, in a certain scenario, it might not be good. Same thing with deletions. Let's say you hit the delete key on data. Well, guess what happens over here? That same data is deleted, right? If that happened on Friday. You come in Monday. Wow, I need that data back. If you're not also doing a point in time copy so that you can jump back to Friday's backup, you can't get that data back. But let's just say there's a failure. The data's fine, no corruption. All the data that's supposed to be there is there. No deletions, accidental deletions happened. But let's say there's a lightning strike these servers went offline. Well, now you can turn this on and again, have business continuance. Users just now, real time, they fail over rather than recover back to that, to that server. So, the big impact, it's all about money. It's all about the Benjamins. So, you have to think about the impact to your business of having one or the other or both. To do that, we typically look at a graph that on one axis, has uptime at one end, and then as the graph goes on, you have a little bit more, not downtime, but a little bit more downtime than being 100% up, all right? So let's say down here, although it's not bad, it's, it's worse than 100%, let's call that 99% downtime at the other end. Well, then let's talk about money on this axis, okay? The paradigm typically looks about like that, and this will get very close to the 100% uptime, but you, there's kind of very few scenarios you can have, you know, zero downtime. None ever, no matter what happens, we're never going to have any downtime, even in a failover. Very hard to accomplish. 
But down here, let's say you're only doing backup, okay? And if you have a failure, it's going to take 12 to 24 hours to get the data back up. That might result in about a 99% uptime solution, okay? Let's say that's in uh, one order of magnitude of cost. As you move towards a true business continuity solution, um, another term used is HA or high availability solution. The number over here can be in the magnitude of two and a half to three times the cost of doing that. Why is that? Well, think about this scenario. When you go buy a server, you can't just buy one server. You have to buy two servers. So it's at least two times the cost, right? But that's not the end of the story. To accomplish replication, you'll need replication software. Many different flavors of replication software that can accomplish this out there on the market. But you're also going to need the connectivity between the two either some sort of VPN connection over the internet where I need lots of internet at both places. Um, the internet signature or the bandwidth signature of replication can be high if you have a lot of data and there's a high amount of change to that data in the course of a day. Or you might need something more secure than that like a private connection between two geographical, geographically diverse locations. So if this is across the country, yeah, it's going to be a couple of magnitudes of dollars. If it's just across town, well, it may just be a single um, order of magnitude on the cost of that connectivity between the two between the two servers where replication is happening. So I hope that did a good job of kind of defining these terms, replication, disaster recovery, backup, and business continuity. Um, but again, the impact is all about how much your organization wants to spend and what kind of solution you want in place. For most companies, backup is the choice. We're going to make sure we back up because we can accomplish disaster recovery with backup, but we also protect ourselves against corruption and accidental deletion. Typically, a replication strategy on its own is not a good way to do it unless you have some ability to fall back in time because of corruption and accidental deletion. Replication does not have anything to address those two scenarios. So keep that in mind when developing this type of a solution. Thank you.